Okay guys, welcome back, so into part two. So we're moving up to our final base here now. And again, most of our team are pushing on A right now. And you can hear the tank also moving up the hill. What I'm trying to do here is I'm trying to get around the back, trying to cut them off and basically just trying to stealth up as I did with the first base. However, outnumbered on this occasion. The second part, the, like the, the middle part, the second objective in this game didn't really pan out for me very well because I spent a long time sort of trying to push up, get behind, didn't really get anywhere. But um, luckily our team were really good on that part of the game and managed to push up well. But this one is getting a bit more of a choke point and they're, they're not managing to sort of push forward up the map very well. Clearing out the area. <laughs> I haven't really tried out the flamethrower very much at all in this game, to be honest. I don't know how powerful or successful it is. Okay, again, uh, same as before, those guys. Now, I could have just hidden behind the boxes, but, you know, like I was pointing out, it, it can be too dangerous to sit right on the target. So, me and my friend here, we're just uh, I'm sitting back. I'm covering the right. Now, I don't know this guy, and we haven't got mic, we haven't got communication at all. But I can see that he's to the left of me. Um, so I can see that he's kind of covering that area. And that's the first one down. When I was in the game I thought that guy could see me, but I don't actually think he could see me. I think he was shooting the guy my teammate spawned on me, and it just happened to be shooting through the wall at me. Something that can be really good to do is... that's not what I'm doing, but if, if, you're, if your whole team is finding it a struggle to, you know, move up to an objective, obviously you do have, in Battlefield, as opposed to COD, you have the ability to select where you spawn. So you can spawn at the base, um, you can spawn on your squad mates, and obviously you've got four squad mates, so depending on where they are in the map, you can spawn on them at different points. So if you can stealth up to a base like this, where your whole team are having a hard time, if, if you can get behind, get to a quiet area, somewhere that's really well defended, um, then your team can spawn on you. And it means they do not have to cross this entire map, as I am now having to do, to get back up to the base. And that means that you can launch, you know, especially if you're in an actual, if you're with a pre-made team, it means that you can all spawn at the same time, if you're communicating, and launch like a full attack from very close range right onto a target. And that means that, you know, you can just take it out very, very fast and, and secure it. However, I'm playing in a public game here, and I do not have that ability, so I'm just trying to do the best that I can. But the, but the team were doing okay, and um, like I said already, I really didn't do very much in that second part of the game. Ah, yeah, that was like a sweet uh, no-scope there by that, my teammate. I'm, I'm not a fan of like no scope crazy sniper shots, but that was pretty good, mainly because it saved me. <laughs> I remember I was laughed out loud in the game at that because it looks like I shoot that guy's head apart. How vulgar. Okay, so now, yet again, if you look at the map there, none of my team anywhere near trying to get in here, so I'm just trying to solo this. However, I get a nice little double tap kill. I was quite pleased with that, Okay, again, I chose not to kind of sit on the target, moving round to try and catch any of the guys that are coming in. <laughs> Unfortunately, though, that guy was there and I did not expect him to be. They really do not want to lose this, though. Look, they got like six, seven people all on it. Replace the 
I really wasn't sure which way this game was going to go right now because we were running out of people. We had 30. Yeah, I think at this point in the game I was pretty confident we could do this because, you know, I just managed to get a plant on my own. I was thinking, okay, I'm sure that with the support of my team now we're going to be able to get up there and take this base. But um, the enemy team really dig in and they, they managed to sort of really hand it back to our team a little bit. Something that can happen is that if you, I, I've talked about this with other people before, is that, you know, momentum in a game is really, really important. And if you lose momentum, like if you don't keep on top, then it means that they will be able to set up and really dig in, find the best positions, and uh, it means that you'll struggle a lot more. And that is pretty much what happens here, because we had a nice momentum rolling. Um, <clears throat> the second stage took a little bit longer, but we were still moving forward. Um, and then we came up here, we took this base with just a couple of us. They, they, you know, they weren't really set in the base, they were just kind of around it. They really hadn't set up. But now they've only got one thing to worry about. And because our team are not really pushing up, if you look at the map, you see they're always in that same place, just to the right of A. And they don't seem to really go further forward than that, I think because, you know, obviously the enemy is spawning at the top and they're spawning right in front of them and they're just kind of fighting, they're just shooting back and forth like tit for tat and they're not really making any progress. Whereas me and my guy here on our squad, we're trying to always get around and actually trying to, you know, cut in. But the thing is, if you leave it too long, then as I say, what happens, they're going to get stuck and that is what happens. You see our points just ticking down and we're not getting anywhere. And the longer we leave it, the more prepared, the more set up the enemy forces can be and it gets harder and harder. I mean, people just need the kind of will to like run in there and get it done. And often in many, many games, in Battlefield, COD and anything else, Killzone, that's what people are lacking. They lack the will to kind of just run in and get stuck in. Alright, I was going for my second solo plant here. But he got, got me with the bloody knife. That was my fault really, because I failed epically with my uh, pistol there. However, I was completely unsupported, so... Oh really, I got in the tank? <laughs> oh yeah, that's right. I was going to go up there in the tank and then I suddenly realised that you can't just go up at this point, you have to like go right the way around and I was just like, I cannot be bothered. And it wasn't like my own slackness, I was like, we've only got 17 hit points, we need to get this game finished, I haven't got time to run around up there. And see that right there? That is what I'm talking about with them getting set up, you know? Previously they were kind of running around the base, that guy was actually sat on that corner point there waiting because he knew that we were going to push up. And that's what I'm talking about. At the start of this round, um, of the third base here. Uh, they were not set up like that. They weren't, they weren't really as dug in as hard as that. But now that we've given them enough time, and they they know that they're very close to winning. See, this is what I'm talking about. Our team here, he's just sat here sniping. That is not going to help us in any way. That guy's probably getting like, I don't know, one occasional kill. It's, it's really not assisting us. And again, similar thing. I remember thinking at this point that the game was over. If they're pushed down this hard, you know, this guy's just running into us with a shotgun. But let's see what happens. We've only got six points left. And I was, I was really frustrated by this point. I was thinking, well, I was quite angry. I was, we had so much um, opportunity to win this round. And I just thought, oh my God, the, the team have like thrown it away. However, I was not prepared to give up. 
And I think this should always prove a point, which is that you can win a game at any point. So again, looking at the map here, I am completely on my own apart from uh, Zermas here. Right, third plant. Now at this point we've only got four hit points. just proves that as a defending team you should never let your guard down. They abandoned the base because they felt like the round was over and they felt, yeah, no one's here, no need. But it just shows that you should always, always watch the target right until the end because you, do know, you don't know who's there, you don't know who's going to take it. Anyway, I hope that's been enjoyable and um, it was a good round for me so I was quite pleased and it panned out okay. That's the breakdown of the points. And uh, let's see if we can get some more up soon. Okay, thanks for watching guys. See you later.